it has been a long weekend. I haven't done a build video in a while. And I tell you, I could have done probably 10 build videos from what I feel like over the weekend. I've probably done five. But uh, this is David's build, and I'm going to show his off just because he got a whole lot more than he bargained for. I'm going to try to do this in one shot. I don't feel like editing. I'm just, it's about 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to head to bed soon. So David ordered, this is for his cabinet. Uh, we got a Cooler Master K, 16 gigs of 3,000 megahertz memory. A 8 terabyte hard drive at 240 gig M2.2. .2. And we paired that with an NVIDIA GTX 1060 with a ASUS Republic of Gamers B360G motherboard. Now, he was supposed to get a Intel i7 8700. Not a K, an 8700. Well, I ordered the 8700 for 309, I believe. And then about an hour after I ordered, I got an email from Amazon saying they're out of stock. I'm like, ah, okay, I'll wait. Well, about four or five days pass, and they still don't have anything in stock. So I said, you know what? I'll just pay the difference and go for the 8700. Well, guess what? That was out too. And I really need to get this off my plate. So even though he paid for an i7-8700, this is what he gets. That is an i7-8068K. That's right. That's the fastest chip they make. I believe we got that model wrong, didn't they? It's 8086K. So that clocks up to, uh, that's a six core, 12 meg cache, Bob. I think it's 5 gigahertz burst. And, uh, yeah, $450, I believe, after tax. No, I think it's $459 after tax. And I said, you know what? I've spent the entire day on this machine. I usually can get a machine up and running a couple hours at the most. But um, this one, he had more stuff he wanted, as you can see. The cable's up there, and that's running to this motherboard. And... I left a soldering iron out because we're going to use that tomorrow. We'll show you guys something. So since I went ahead and ordered him that CPU, I said, you know what? Let's just go ahead and do him one better. So I installed an RGB controller with RGB fans. He can change it whatever he wants. And But these were on sale I saw yesterday. I mean, today, I ordered them the same day of delivery. <coughs> I believe I got the whole set for... Uh, 26 bucks because I had some uh, credit on there as well. But we did a lot. It is a mon There's so many cables in there, and I did such a great job of hiding them. Um, <laughs> but let's take, we swing around. Yeah, that's something else I'm working on at the moment. Um, oh, I've got to turn the light on. All right. So. This is all his stuff too. We got PacLED 64, which I'm going to be going with LED Wiz here um, soon. I'm going to switch controllers. Um, he got RGB buttons, and those are the Ultralux RGBs. I love those buttons. I don't like the company much. Um, we got two Amtrak light guns. We got the bezels for his case. If we take a look at his case, it's red. But it also comes with different color bezels you can change it to. I don't think he's going to do that now, though. That's all his uh, manuals, drivers, disc, COA, and everything else that came with this machine. And we've got an X-Arcade working uh, coin door. Now, they have changed the design, so I'm going to show you how to turn that into a coin door. It's much easier, actually. So... As soon as I get the drivers installed, I don't even have the drivers installed. This is a fresh version of Windows. Um, I haven't even printed off his, his key yet. And uh, I don't think I'm going to tonight. But that is a killer build. And I'm actually kind of jealous of that CPU. Not sure if I'd use it all the way. I've got a 8700K. I'm not sure there's much difference if I overclock. But... Um, yeah, I'd say it's a big upgrade, don't you? Have a good night, guys.